Greetings to you all again. Today we will witness the successful story of a very well-established car company. Today's topic is the Japanese car manufacturer Toyota. Let's go to the video. Skichi Toyota founded Toyota Automatic Looms Toyota Industries Corporation in 1926. He saw his mother struggling with weaving. Therefore, he started to produce weaving machines for the convenience of her and other women. In the following years, his engineer son Kikairo Toyota traveled to Europe and the USA. Here he had the opportunity to examine petrol-powered car engines. He then returned to Japan and started to apply what he had learned here. Toyota Motor Corporation was founded in 1933 by Kikairo Toyota, the engineer son of the founder of the Toyota Automatic Loom Company. In the automobile department of this company, Toyota produced its first car in 1936. The first model was called the A and was intended for use in warfare. Only three aerodynamic cars were produced in the first stage. In 1937, Toyota Motor Corporation continued its production as an independent company. Toyota, who now established an independent company, began to produce more and more cars. Toyota automobiles surpassed U.S. automobiles, which were in high demand at the time. During the Second World War, trucks began to be produced instead of cars. After the war, Toyota faced damaged facilities and a poor economy. After the Second World War, Toyota contributed to the reconstruction process in Japan and played an important role in post-war economic development. In 1947, the company started to produce vehicles for civilians for the first time with the SAW model. However, the company's bad economy was making things very difficult and Toyota came very close to bankruptcy in 1949. In 1950, when 300 trucks could be produced, the public started to voice some discourses. Likewise, this situation now led to strikes by workers. The year 1950 was also a breaking point for Toyota. IG Toyota became the head of the company. At the same time, the efficiency of car production factories began to increase. Especially due to the Korean War that started at that time, the USA ordered 1,000 trucks from Toyota. Realizing the economic and technical power of the USA, Toyota executives visited the facilities of many car manufacturers, especially Ford. In this way, the managers, who applied their observations in these facilities to their own facilities, succeeded in increasing production efficiency. In the following years, with increasing efficiency, Toyota started to produce new models. One of these new models, the Crown Model, enabled the company to become the largest car manufacturer in Japan at that time. It was also the first car Toyota exported to the USA in 1957, and in the same year Toyota Motor Sales USA Inc. and Toyota du Brassel SA were established. In addition, the Land Cruiser 4x4 model, which was also produced in these years, managed to become one of the models that made a name for itself. In 1965, the Toyota Corona model, designed for American drivers, symbolized the company's success in America. In the 1960s, Toyota started to expand rapidly and increase its exports, especially with the new R facilities it established. With the opening of a production facility in Thailand, it established partnerships with Hino Motors, Daihatsu and Nippon Denso. Toyota, which later started production outside Japan, realized a completely non-Japan production in Australia for the first time in 1963. Between 1963-65, Australia became Toyota's largest export market. In 1968, Hilux, in 1970, 2000 GT and Celica models such as Celica were put on sale and succeeded in making everyone love them. In the 1970s, the company was taking firm steps towards becoming a global brand with 100,000 employees. Again in these years, the legendary model Toyota Corolla, which is the best-selling car model that we often encounter today, was produced. Toyota, aware of the increase in fuel prices, launched Corolla as a less fuel-efficient, high-performance, high-quality vehicle. The Corolla model reached 40 million in sales. In these years, the company, which could not keep pace, produced many more models in addition to Corolla. 
In the 80s, Toyota started to be interested in car sports and produced vehicles for this purpose. In 1985, it received the Quality Control Award in Japan for the first time. Toyota had now mastered the art of producing demand-orientated cars. In the 90s, it became a frequently mentioned car brand in Europe. Following this, it also established a base in London. New versions of the Supra, another popular and well-loved model, continued to be released. In 1994, the RAV4, the pioneer of compact SUV. In 1997, the Prius, the pioneer of hybrid vehicles. And in 1999, the small model Yaris were launched. New models continued to be launched in the 2000s. In addition to new models, Toyota also entered F1 in 2002. In 2005, it ranked 8th in Forbes' list of leading companies. In the first quarter of 2008, it ranked number 1 in global sales. Today, Toyota has become a vehicle production giant with nearly 70 factories and nearly 350,000 employees. Apart from Japan, Toyota factories are among the world's largest automotive manufacturers by production volume in many parts of the world. The company assembles vehicles in Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Czech Republic, France, Indonesia, Mexico, Philippines, Poland, Russia, South Africa, Thailand, Turkey, United Kingdom, United States of America and Venezuela. In addition, the company has joint venture, licensed or contract factories in China, France, India, Malaysia, Pakistan, Taiwan, the United States and Vietnam. Car logos are often among the most recognizable in the world, and Toyota's is one of the most famous. The three oval design was introduced in 1989 to commemorate Toyota's 50th anniversary of the company. But what does it mean? According to Toyota, the two vertical ovals inside the large oval represent the heart of the customer and the heart of the company. They overlap to represent a mutually beneficial relationship and trust between each other. The two vertical ovals inside the outer oval overlap to symbolize a steering wheel representing the vehicle itself. The outer oval symbolizes the world embracing Toyota. But not only that, when we analyze the ovals of the logo, we can see that every word that makes up the word Toyota is easily revealed. In other words, the word Toyota is also included in this intertwined logo. Toyota, a Japanese automotive giant preferred by the whole world, which set out with the slogan, we respect. We Kaizen, Toyota, the world's largest and most valuable automotive brand according to the results of the best global brands list 2021, which is organized by Interbrand every year, continues its journey with the principle of customer satisfaction and takes even stronger steps to keep the top. Toyota, which received the Global Green Brand Award in 2015 by producing the first environmentally friendly car, shows that it follows the current very well with its hybrid models. Toyota attaches so much importance to research since its foundation that it invests over $1 million in R every hour. We are eagerly waiting to see what kind of achievements and technology a company open to such a development will achieve in the coming years. We have come to the end of another video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if there are vehicle brands whose story you are curious about, do not forget to specify in the comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.